guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing um, kind of like a collective haul of all of the things that I've purchased recently that um, are from different brands. I have some stuff from like Levi's, I've got some like random shoe pieces, I got this like Ruka shorts set, or not set, but a Ru Ruka shorts that I got, and some things from Bloomingdale's. I also got um, some parcels in the mail. So I'm going to unbox those and show you guys what I got. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, and also I do feel like I found some really good Aritzia dupes because if you follow me on YouTube or you're a subscriber or whatever, you'll know that I do tend to do a lot of Aritzia hauls. So I did find a few like really good dupes that I'm going to include in this video as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, and what my thoughts are, then just stay tuned because we're just going to jump right in. Okay, so first up, we've got these shorts, which are giving me major 70s vibes, just very like, I don't know, retro looking. I think it's because of the pockets, the way that they have like these square pockets in the front. Um, it's a collab and I love it when brands do collabs. I have like another thing. Which was it? I, I have something else that I have to show you guys that is a collab and I just, I love it when brands do that. I think it's so cool. Um, so these shorts are by Ruka, but they are a collab with Camille Rowe, I believe is how you say her name. I think she's French. I don't know who she is. I tried to look her up on Instagram and it doesn't really say in the bio like who she is or like what she does. I don't know if she's just, um, like maybe she's like a model, I don't know. Uh, so if you guys know who she is, please leave a comment down below and inform me because I really liked the pieces that she did with Ruka. It's so, so cute. Um, so she did these shorts. There's another like sweater, cropped sweater, like blue sweater with like a stripe here. And anyway, yeah, there's, just take a look at um, the Ruka website because there's like a bunch of things in her collection that is so cute. Um, so anyway, back to the shorts. These are just like a really dark wash. They're kind of, um, I like them because they're different to anything I have. A lot of my shorts are lighter washes and there's a lot of distressing going on. These are just like a really clean pair of denim shorts. And um, they're a zipper fly, which is always nice because I love that. And um, yeah, there's a little patch in the back, which I'm not like a huge fan of. It's just the, the Ruka patch. I was thinking of taking it off with a pair of um, like either scissors or like cutting away the threads. But sometimes when you take off patches, the denim underneath is discolored. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But I did pair it with this top. It's by Frame, I want to say, and it's super old. I don't know if I'll be able to link it for you guys, but I thought that the top and the shorts together just kind of like gave a really good retro or like 70s look. And um, for the sizing on these shorts, I would say probably to size up because normally I am a 25 in den denim, like bottoms, anything denim. And for these, I went with a 26. The, the 25s were pretty snug and I kind of looked like a stuffed sausage. <laughs> so yeah, these are the shorts that I wanted to show you. I also picked up from the same um, store a Billabong t-shirt. Hang on, I'll be right back. So I also got this uh, Billabong. Hang on, let me put my hair this way. The Billabong, like it's a Billabong graphic tee and it's just got like a little bit of a brown and like pink stripey design going across the front. I just thought it was really cute. And I just love having some like really easy chill graphic tees to throw on um, and go and not even like have to think about it and it's comfortable and still pretty cute so yeah I will link this as well if I can find it on the Billabong website but it is an extra small so for shoes I have on or not I'm on but I, ha I bought these shoes here so I got the Converse platform chucks which I've been having I've been eyeing for a while I was like really torn on whether to get black or white but I already have the black chucks pointing down here I don't know if you guys can see them um, I already have the black chucks in the leather and then I thought 
you know, maybe go for something a little bit different. So these are great. I did show these briefly in my Aritzia haul that I posted earlier, or like last week, I think. So if you didn't watch that, go watch it. But it definitely gives you height on like jeans and stuff where you need a couple of extra inches. So that's why I got these mostly. And then the other pair of shoes that I got were these like leather um, Zara sneakers, which I thought were really cool. They kind of remind me of like Common Projects sneakers, which are like super expensive. Um, but these were only like $35 and I got them on sale. So it was an additional, I don't even know how much, like these are $35 regular. So they were discounted even more when I bought them. So I thought these were kind of cool, nice neutral color. And I think I liked how the laces matched the color of the shoe. So it's just like all one tone. So yeah, that's the other thing that I got. And I believe if I do the unboxing right now, the other pair of shoes that I purchased um, are gonna be in that Zappos box. So let me do that really quick. So I got a few things, or just a couple of things, I think, from Zappos. And I don't really shop on Zappos like a whole bunch, but um, so far, everything that I've gotten from them has been really good and the shipping has been pretty quick. So yeah, all right. Yeah, so the shoes that I got, I also, <laughs> I also picked up overalls, which I will try on for you guys and see. They look kind of big, just like me pulling them out of the box right now. Like the, the amount of fabric that's on here, it seems like a lot. So I'll try that on, but the shoes first. So I did get a pair of Birkenstocks and I really wanted like a light color, like a, a light colored, ooh, these are pretty. They like, actually are a little bit similar to the, <laughs> the ones that I have. My husband's probably gonna kill me. So I have the ones that are in like latte cream suede, I wanna say, is the, the color. So I bought these. These are in the color almond. And they're showing up, actually no, yeah, I think they are showing up pretty true to color on camera. I think, so for me, I really like the narrow footbeds because I have super narrow feet. And um, I also like the soft footbeds. They're, I think they're way more comfortable. And then obviously the suede leather is gonna be a lot less in terms of like, it's gonna be less harsh on your feet when you're breaking them in than the, the regular like leather, the oiled leather, whatever it's called. I don't have any of those, um, so I can't tell you too much about them. All of my Birkenstocks are suede. And um, these are so cute, I really like them. I got them in a size 37, and yeah, they're just really, a really cute pair of shoes. Okay, so I got these Levi Levi's cream colored overalls. They didn't have a size extra small, like anywhere. I couldn't find them. And I think I got them in a size of like small. Yeah. So I'm gonna try these on with the Birkenstocks and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have on the overalls and the Birkenstocks. I don't know if you can see them. Let me back up a little bit. But yeah, if I pull up the pants, you can kind of see the Birkenstocks. They're very cute. I like this color a lot. They're a little more yellow than I was expecting. I thought they were gonna be more of like a cream, or like off-white, um, but I, I still really like them a lot. And the overalls, I do think if I had gotten an extra small, it probably would have fit me a lot better, but I scoured the internet and I could not find it. And I really wanted a pair of cream overalls. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be keeping these. I They're just, the fit is a lot baggier than the other pair of blue denim overalls that I have. So these are just gonna be super chill. And I did have to like adjust the straps to go way back because, or the strap adjuster is like all the way back here because yeah, I'm only 5'4"-ish. So I had to make them a little bit higher. Um, and this is like the highest I could go without giving myself like a wedgie. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, this, these are the overalls. I really like them. And then kind of like sprinkled, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this in the beginning of the video. I did find some 
like dupes for Aritzia items because if you follow me on YouTube, you know that I post a lot of Aritzia hauls and Aritzia is like, I love their clothes, it's beautiful, but they are a little bit on the pricier side. So I thought that I would share some of the dupes that I found. Um, so, let me take off these shoes. Let me grab the tank top that I feel this is actually a really great dupe. So it's not an exact dupe, but it's pretty darn close. So if I just take off, I hope these overalls don't fall down because they're a little bit loose on me. So if I just, <laughs> if I take off the overalls, oh yeah, I have to be careful of how I stand or else they'll fall down. These tops, these two tank tops are very similar. Um, so this is the Sculpt Knit um, Aritzia like high neck or no, what is it? The halter. I think it's a halter top or something. And but it's got it doesn't have the open back. It's a closed back, so it's very like similar front and back. And um, I'm wearing something that I think looks really so close to it. This is the this is a tank top that I found at Uniqlo. So these retail for I want to say like sixty eight dollars. I could be wrong on that, but it's it's expensive these are not cheap and this was probably like 20 or 25 dollars so i think this is a super great dupe um i think this one comes down a little bit farther uh but yeah this is a really cute alternative it's a lot thinner than the sculpt knit obviously like the sculpt knit is a really like thick knit that will give you that hugged in feeling um whereas this one not so much but for the price difference, I do think it's worth it, and you know, this one is definitely something like, if I got it dirty, I wouldn't be devastated, whereas with this one, if I got it dirty, I'd be a little bit sad. <laughs> so, I will try on a few other things, um, and kind of show you other Aritzia dupes that I found. Okay, so the, this skirt right here is definitely another Aritzia dupe that I found. So. Well, I don't know if it's Aritzia, it's a Subi denim skirt that I got at Aritzia. So this is a skirt, let me actually button it up so you guys can see what it looks like if I had it on. This was also in my other Aritzia video, so if you didn't watch that from last week, go and watch it. Um, but yeah, I'll, the, in that video it'll show you what this looks like on. But this is a Subi denim skirt that I got, it is very, very pricey. Subi denim is super expensive to, to me anyway, I think it's really expensive. Um, so it's got this like super cute stitching here the classic like subi denim uh crosses and then also right down here oh this side there are like little crosses there and then it's got the little crisscross like a goldie style crisscross asymmetrical waistline so i bought that and then i found this skirt at um abercrombie which this one was $170, I think, and then this one was like a fraction of that. Where's the tag? I think I got it. Oh, shoot. Is the tag gone? The tag is, on, <laughs> the tag is gone. I was planning on returning this, but maybe I won't be able to. Um, I think this one was $75, but I definitely did not buy it at regular price. So if I was able to get like $10 off my purchase or like 15% off my purchase or something like that, I definitely got it discounted. It's a really rare that I'll buy things off of Abercrombie regular price. So I thought this was a really great do because it has like this asymmetrical waistline here and even like the back is kind of similar with like the, uh, the dark patch. It just doesn't have like the crosses obviously because that's Subi. But um, the difference is, is that the Subi is just like a flap, like there's no, <laughs> there's no button closure or anything like that. So literally like your skirt is hanging onto your body by like one button and then two snap buttons here. And it's literally like a flap of denim. <laughs> Whereas this one is like an actual skirt that you put on and it's at least like sewn in the front. I don't know. I don't really like have a preference I guess I do feel a little bit more like secure in these in this denim skirt because um it's like it hugs me a little bit more whereas this the Subi one is more of like an a-line silhouette so I wear shorts like bike shorts under these but for this one I feel like I could probably 
get away with not wearing bike shorts and still feel like pretty good about myself. <laughs> so yeah, this one I think was $75 and I got it in a size 25 and then this one was $170 and I got it in a size 25. So I thought this was a really great dupe. And then another thing that I thought was super great dupe is this corduroy jacket or shacket, whatever. Um, they have one on the Aritzia website that I was eyeing for a while and it's, I think it was either Babaton or Group by Babaton. And I can't remember how much it was, but it's definitely more than what I paid for this. This one is from Nasty Gal and I got it on sale for like, you know how they do those massive sales where it's like 60% off site wide or whatever. So this one was probably like 30 bucks and it was a steal, like a steal. And it actually came with matching, a matching skirt, which I think I showed in another video. But yeah, this is, I think, a really great dupe. I put, I wear this a lot, and I'm sure the quality like isn't exactly the same as like Group by Babaton, obviously. But for the price difference, I do think it's worth it. Same with like the Uniqlo stuff. So I think this is a really great dupe for the Babaton one. I will link the Babaton one too down below if. I can find it on the website, um, but yeah, another great dupe. <laughs> okay, so I've got these two waffle um, waffle shirts from, one is from Aritzia and one is from Uniqlo, and I just feel like they look really, really similar. So this one, I'll show you the Aritzia one, this is the TNA Bailey uh, waffle knit, I want to say, and I have it in an extra small and it's honestly like one of my favorite well i wouldn't wear it with this high neck but it's one of my favorite lounging around shirts because it's just so comfy but it's not super heavy so you know if it's a little bit like warmer you're not going to get all hot and sweaty in it so yeah this is the bailey and then let me show you what i got from uniqlo because i was thinking of getting this Bailey, well, I liked it so much in this color that I was thinking of getting it in like the white or cream color or whatever it is that they have on the website. Um, but I found this at Uniqlo, which I feel like is pretty darn good. It's pretty close. So this is it. This high neck is really like throwing off the look of <laughs> the shirts. Just ignore that. But I got this in a medium, so I did size up for like the oversized fit. And the only difference is like the bottom is got a little bit of a shark bite detail on the side, but I don't really mind that. I think it's actually pretty cute with this little like detail. And um, obviously like the quality and like the thickness is a little bit thinner on the Uniqlo one, but the Bailey one was like probably, I don't know, I would guess like about $70, I want to say. I could be off. But, and then this one was probably like 30 My pricing is like so off sometimes, so just check the links down below. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this is another really great Uniqlo dupe. Or no, sorry, Aritzia dupe. Okay, so do you guys remember how I was saying like I love it when brands do collabs? So another one that I thought was so cute was, I love these slow tide towels. These are, these are what I use for beach towels from like, since like COVID, I wanna say. They're so lightweight, they're easy to pack up and they, they're quick dry. These are the quick dry towels. They're not regular like Turkish towels or even like the, the soft, um, like kind of like bath towels. These are super thin and lightweight so when you fold it up, it's just like, it's so tiny. Like it's easy to fit into your bag. And I love that it, like, look at that. It's not bulky. Like I hate beach towels because they take up so much space in my bag. Like this is it right here. And I actually wear it as like a beach cover up too, which is super cute. But I love the color of this. It basically looks like, right, this way. It basically looks like a sunset. Like look at how pretty that is. So I think this was Cynthia Rowley, I think it was Cynthia Rowley, that did a collab with Slow Tide and I freaking love this towel. So this is another one of the things that I purchased recently and I just love it so, so much. I've already used it a few times. 
And yeah, um, seek, sticking with the beach theme, I did get a bathing suit. Actually, my husband ordered it for me. And I'm not going to try it on because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It is super cute. So I wear very cheeky, cheeky bikinis. This is basically like a thong bikini. This is by the brand Sun Days. And here, let me show you the logo. Sundays, bikinis, like that. Usually, I have another bikini from them, and the top is a medium, um, and it's it fits me pretty well. Like, it actually looks like I could have sized up in that one. But on this one, the medium is, like, way too big, and I don't like the way that it fits, and I don't think that she's in, she doesn't have, like, the small in stock. And this is like a really limited edition color or something like that. Like she doesn't come out with this color all the time. So I might end up returning this. That's why I don't want to like try it on for you guys. But anyway, it's just like the prettiest color. It's kind of like almost like a terracotta-ish brown. It's similar to that Epicurean brown that Aritzia has. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah. It's a super cute bikini and you can wear it multiple ways because you can do like a bandeau style I don't know she, there's like a bunch of different ways on the website I just wish that she would bring this color back but I have a feeling she did it she actually re did a second release and that's like it she like doesn't even normally do second releases so very sad about that but this is a bikini that my husband got me <laughs> obviously that's why he likes it because it's just nothing in the back but um, yeah, this is the other thing that I got recently and that I really, really liked. Her bikinis are super good. I want to say they're handmade. I don't know. Um, but they are just really great quality bikinis and I love them a lot. So Bloomingdale's, I don't know if you guys shop the sale, but they were having crazy deals for the last couple of days. And I picked up this um t-shirt and short set and i want to say i got it i know it sounds crazy that i paid almost like 200 some like right over 200 dollars for a t-shirt and shorts but hear me out <laughs> so this t-shirt i wanted for a while it was 125 dollars which i think is absolutely ridiculous it's by rag and bone it's not like the regular t-shirt so that they have at right rag and bone there it's more of a thicker knit and it's really really soft so that's probably why i was so into it like i saw it and i was like 125 dollars is crazy like the regular rag and bone t-shirts i think are like 70 dollars and i think that's kind of insane to just pay for like a regular t-shirt but this one on went on sale i guess everyone felt the same way i did and was like i'm not paying that much money for a t-shirt so I got it for 30% off and then I think I got an additional 20% off on top of it or something like that. So it was actually doable, it was a pretty good deal. And then these shorts, oh my god, I love these shorts so much. I don't know if you guys can see the little, There's. I'll take them off and show you guys up close, but there are little like embroidered hummingbirds and flowers on these shorts, they're so freaking cute i saw them and i immediately like was drawn i just i needed them so and then there's even like a little butt rip like it's not an actual rip but it kind of has that look of a butt rip um in the in the by the pocket area and then right over here there's like a little flower detail flower detail here like i said i'll take it off and show you guys and then the other thing that I found from Aritzia, not Aritzia, from Bloomingdale's is this cute jacket right here. So it is this super fluffy um, like teddy bear. I call it the teddy bear coat because I feel like a teddy bear when I'm wearing it. <laughs> and I know you guys are probably thinking like, why? Like, why did you buy this when we're heading into like spring and summer? My parents live in a condo that is super cold and even on the amenities deck when we do like barbecuing and everything like that, it gets pretty windy, especially, it gets chillier too if you're there for like an evening barbecue for like dinner and stuff. It gets windy and it's a little bit chilly. So this is actually what I had in mind 
I mean, that is actually what I had in mind when I purchased this. So this is a code by Sanctuary. It was like on clearance and an additional like 20% off or something like that. I think I ended up getting this or my husband got it. It was like $60. Like this is so cute for 60 bucks. Like if you were to find this, even like, I don't even remember what it was regular price. I think it was over $150 so I wanna say. And, or even if you were to go to like Aritzia or something like that, it would be way more. Like the Ghana shirt jackets are like 178 or something like that. So I think this is a super cute jacket for the amount of money that I got, I mean that I got it for. And it even comes with a hood, which it started raining when we were having dinner, which this came in super handy. It's literally like wearing a blanket. So I love this coat so much and yeah, I call it the teddy bear coat. I've already worn it. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up recently were these Levi's jeans. It says on the tag they were long, they're long column. I don't know what that means. I can't remember. I will try to look up what they are. Oh my god, so a gajillion years later I still can't find my phone and I don't know what jeans these are <laughs> but i will try to link them levi's was having a sale so i was really intrigued by these jeans because they have this like black patch here and i just wanted to know how they felt like what these jeans were like so they were on sale they were a pretty good deal um and yeah i i think they're just like a straight leg jean and a kind of like medium to dark wash and there's some obvious like fading right here and yeah i did have to get them in a 24 which i think i would have preferred a 25 but they were sold out because they were on sale that's what i'm thinking anyway so yeah i just wanted to try these i've been kind of into like getting i really want to get like vintage levi's that's what i've been looking on poshmark for and then I had to find like a bunch of other things too. So I think for next week's video, I'm gonna do what I got on Poshmark. So if, you, if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned for that. Um, but I only have like a couple more things to show you guys and we'll be done with the video. Okay, so I totally spaced and I meant to show you guys what these, what these shorts looks like up close. So, Look at how look at how pretty these are. Can you see this? The lighting is kind of bad. Hang on. So there are these cute little like hummingbirds right here, and then right here there's like a little flower detail, and then the back pocket also has flowers, and then this back pocket has. The faux butt rip which I think is so so cute and yeah these okay so I saw these first I saw the um, another pair that were just flowers so if you're into the flowers I would say go for those they pretty much just look like this but they're all the way across I want to say and then I saw these and I was like I have to have the ones with the birds because they're so cute so yeah, I, I'm absolutely in love with these shorts. They're made by Seven for our All Mankind. And I just think that they're such a good find. Like I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. So very, very happy with this purchase. And then I did get a set from Lululemon, which this top is very booby, I know. Um, <laughs> I got the Align. These are the, this is like an Align set. So hang on. Unless, oh, I just heard my phone go off. Okay, so I can tell you more about these jeans since I found my phone. So these are the long column women's jeans. I have them in a size 24. The color is bespoke blue. They're normally $168.98, but I did get them on sale for about $100, I want to say. So let's see here. What else can I tell you about them? I think I got them in, oh shoot, they're totally sold out. They were marked down to $55. 
So these are unfortunately no longer available, so I won't be able to link them. Um, but I do feel like there are going to be really similar pairs on the Levi's website at some point. Or just maybe type in like long column jeans. These are very rigid, like thick structured denim. So if that's your thing, definitely go for something like this. Um, like I was gonna say go for these, but you can. And um, yeah, I normally I think the reason why I'm not a total fan of these is because they're one, they're one size too small, and two, the the denim is super thick, and I prefer my denim to be a little bit on the thinner side or have like a little bit of stretch to them. So that's the only reason why I wasn't like super in love with these. I did wear them and I washed them already, so obviously I'm keeping them. But yeah, I think if they had been more worn in, I would have liked them a little bit better. But obviously with Levi's, they'll get better with time. And the more I wear them, they'll shape to my body. And the more I wash them, the thinner and like more comfy they'll get. So I just have to break these bad boys in. I did actually do the trick where you wash them and then you wear them while they're wet. And I was just trying to do like, I was trying to sit in them and like squat in them and everything and stretch them out a little bit. So, and it, um, I do think it works because they are a little bit more comfy than when I first got them. So yeah, that's the info on the Levi's. Sorry it's not available anymore if you were into these jeans. But on to what I'm wearing. So I have on... The Align Leggings, I think these are in the 28 inch, I want to say, because I think the next, um, the shorter version will be cropped already on me, and these are full length. So I have this matching set, and then I have the Align Top on, which both are in a size 4. I probably could have done with a size 6 on the top because my boobs are like totally <laughs> getting pushed together. But honestly, when you are working out, like you do want, I like to have that held in feeling for the girls. So depending on what you're wearing this for, like if it's for lounging and you want to be comfortable, maybe size up. But if you are planning to actually work out in this and you want it to feel like, you know, they're not like bouncing around, <laughs> then go with your normal size. Because I do think, yeah, you, um definitely want them to be held down while you are doing a workout and then the other thing that I got is this sweatshirt which is super basic I know but I love it it is by the brand rhythm which I think is like an Australian brand I want to say and I will link it I have it in an extra small US or a size 6 for Australia for Australian and yeah it's just a basic um, crew neck sweater I loved the color of it and it's just super comfy and I don't think there's any like anything going on anything crazy going on in the back so yeah that so I've been super into like looking for secondhand things lately I don't know why like I used to not want to buy like secondhand things at all i used to think like oh i don't even know like who wore this before me and stuff like that but i've been super into it lately like <laughs> i don't know why so i'll give you a little sneak peek because i just my, my curiosity is like, killing me and i want to know what i got in this parcel so i'll give you a sneak peek as to what I purchased on Poshmark. Oh look, she packaged it cute. I really like this. Not everyone does this, by the way. Sometimes you'll just get things and they're just in a box, which I have to say I'm guilty of because I do sell things on Poshmark. <laughs> so she packaged it super cute. Oh, this is, okay, so these are the denim jeans that I really wanted to try. Let me try these on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have got on the jeans. I have to say they don't feel like they've been used very much at all because the denim still feels rather like on the thicker side. Please excuse me, I have to take off this sweater. It's getting hot in here. But I have to say they do feel really good. Like they don't feel... I was worried that because I think these have been reposhed too, which means that they were bought on Poshmark and then that person who, who bought it on Poshmark sold it again so it's actually like 
third, not second hand, but third hand. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I wanted to try a pair of girlfriend denim, but I just couldn't wrap my mind around spending that much money on a pair of jeans. Like they're so expensive. Like some of the jeans on Revolve are a lot of money and I, I don't have any like stores that I can go into and try them on. So I was a little bit hesitant to buy them online just because I didn't know what the fit would be like. Anyway, long story short, I was like, you know what, it's probably just better if I get them secondhand off of Poshmark because that way if they don't fit me that great, it's not going to be that big of a loss. And the other reason why I was okay with buying these was because I actually saw them um, on a YouTuber and she had them up on her Poshmark and then somebody scooped them up for like $40. It was such a good deal that she gave them. And um, so yeah, that was the only reason why I kind of was okay with getting these because I think I'm a similar size to that other YouTuber and so I thought that I would probably be able to fit these and they would kind of look similar on me. So these are the jeans. I don't have the details on them. Hang on. Oh, these are the SHR Helena jeans, I want to say. So I couldn't find them anywhere, like on retail websites anymore. So I don't know if I'll be able to link these for you guys, but I'm probably going to include this in my next video on what I bought on Poshmark and like Depop and everything like that. So if you've made it this far to the video, congratulations. <laughs> um, thought you were at the finish line at one point there, but I fooled you and I <laughs> charred on one for a pair of denim. I actually really like these, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because I don't want this video to be too long, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!